Hey, I know. What's for lunch? I'm cooking Japanese cream stew, inspired by Midnight Diner series. So now I'm going to heat up my pan. So now I'm going to add over oil. I'm going to season my chicken with a bit of sea salt, black pepper. So now I'm going to dredge it in flour. How I know whether the temperature is right? I'm going to add a bit of flour. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to go in. Skin down. Always skin down. Wow, so much excess flour. Yeah, I mean... Intentional? Intentional. I want my stew to thicken up. Wait, wait, wait. Why do you want to cook this stew? This oil has inspired me. It's about family ties. The cream stew brought daughter, mother and father all back together. Huh. That okay. also reminds me. Because it reminds me of my mom also. My okay. mom cooked the best bihun. Hey, but tell me more about this father. The father is actually a failing novelist who has a home but doesn't want to go home. I felt that I was a failing chef. Are you feeling now? Oh my god. You won't be... I'm, I'm as scared. I'm... At aesthetic to be aesthetic, here. Aesthetic, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I'm happy, I'm happy being here. Right now, right, I'm searing the meat. Okay, it's gonna take a while. Viewers, smell this. This is the smell of fried chicken. Fried chicken. Okay, so yeah, back to the story. I'm sorry, I deviate a lot. Failing novelist, doesn't want to go home. He has a family, and then he has a daughter. His daughter is uh, juggling between school and work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is actually uh, a very, a very admirable thing, an admirable thing to say. Mm -hmm. I was also juggling between work and life. I didn't have a life, basically. You know your you know your chef, you know. Chef yeah. life, chef life. But if I recall correctly, the daughter was having some kind of a work, right? She was actually working as a sex worker. Oh, so are yeah. you, uh, do you relate to that? No, I'm not a sex worker. <laughs> Please, guys, I'm not a sex worker. I'm a chef, a professional chef. But why do I relate to this? Because I know how hard is it to be something that you don't want to be. Mm. So, you know, she has no choice. No, I think to... Relate back to what you said just now, mm -hmm. like sometimes you felt like you're a failing chef mm -hmm. and when you're cooking at work, you felt like this is not something you wanted to do, right? After a period of time that I really wanted to give up being a chef because I couldn't see my future in it. Mm. Yeah, I so had in some a... sense, you felt like you're the doctor because you're doing something that you didn't want to do. Yep. But you have to do it to get by. La. Yes. Okay. I, I, I lost my passion in a way. Let me rephrase that okay. for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's life is tough and sometimes you end up doing things that you don't want to do it. Oh, okay. Correct. True. But when you're feeling down and out, cook the chicken stew and we'll feel better. Okay, last two right. out. Done. So you see these scraps, right? I do uh -huh. not throw this all away. I do not throw this away. I want to keep this. Why? Because it's flavor. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to add my mirapoa all in. We're going to go on a high heat. I'm going to saute this. So in cream stew, you think it's cream, right? But actually, no. Cream is too heavy. I will use milk. Lighter, less fatty, because the fat all comes from here and here. The flour, right? I don't throw. Okay, I'm just going to add it into my veggies. Okay, you're going to make a rule out of it. For viewers at home, this is very fast and easy. I have butter here. Actual amount is 50, 50 grams of butter and 50 grams of flour. So you can see it's thickening up, right? So now, chicken stock. Don't see this one, ah. It's like so pale and white, ah. This is not store-bought. This is homemade. This is 500 ml. See that, see that, see that color, see that color? See the color? Oh yeah, man. And I'm gonna add in my milk. I'm gonna bring it up to a boil. Where do you add your potatoes? Hey, yes, and not forgetting potatoes. Potatoes take <laughs> you some time. the potatoes. <laughs> We're just gonna throw it in. Chicken goes in also. For flavor now. You can see that? Oh my god, so beautiful. So when, back to the story, because of this cream stew, reconciliation was done. The father found out that she was a sex worker and everything. In the, they, they, they sat down together at the bar. <laughs> they sat down at the bar, the mother came. And they sat down, then they talked about it. And after they kind of reconciled. And then in the end, she also got her dream job. And for me, I got my dream job too. I'm here, mm -hmm. FTTG. That's why, as I always say in all my videos, <laughs> you're professional now. <laughs> I'm professional, right? But I'm true. As I was to say to all my colleagues who are here in FTDG, it's always FTDG with love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, yeah, I cannot wait for your chicken stew now. I know, right? I've got too much meaning. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to add my mushrooms. These are butter mushrooms. I'm going to serve it with bread. So I have a very nice piece of ciabatta. So I'm going to use my very nice knife. I got a new knife, my got a new toy. Can you hear that? Oh my god! Can you hear that? Oh, it's flickering in my face. Oh, you are... crumbs on me. No, 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 it's so nice. Oh my god, check, check it out. It's so nice, it's so crispy. Alright, serving. This usually can serve about two to three packs. Really? Yes. That's a lot for two to three. Alright, and then plate. Wow, that looks really good, I know. 
So when you're burnt out in life, we always remember there's always family behind you. Cook this family, cook this family, cook this chicken stew to enjoy your family. And remember, so simple! <laughs> Subscribe and like and podcast for more of these fucking good videos. Enjoy. Thank you, Lionel. Cut.